Three Colorado fighters throw down for the LFA promotion on Friday night, as well as a return to the Bellator cage for a streaking veteran. Then on Saturday, two Elevation fighters will have the chance to showcase their skills at UFC Fight Night in Las Vegas. That, plus new matchup announcements with big implications in your Colorado MMA News Weekend Preview. LFA 88 takes place Friday night, and a trio of Colorado fighters will have the chance to showcase their skills on the global UFC Fight Pass platform. Ben Lugo, 5-3 of Top Notch MMA, will take on the undefeated Nathan Levy, 4-0, in a featherweight contest after the bout was rescheduled after previously falling through. Lugo is riding a two-fight win streak heading into the night. Additionally, Edwin Chavez, 2-0 of Pariah MMA, will throw down against Keelan Fantroy in a featherweight fight. Fantroy will be making his pro debut after a prolific 25-fight amateur career. Chavez hasn't been beaten in his MMA career, including his time spent as an amateur. This is expected to be an exciting fight and a good test for both fighters. And joining Chavez on the card will be his pariah MMA teammate, Chaz Alex, who will make his pro debut against Rovial Tesfaldet, 2-3 in a flyweight matchup. Watch these three athletes put their skills to the test on UFC Fight Pass Friday night, with fights starting at 7pm Mountain Standard Time. Also on Friday night, the 21-fight MMA veteran Andrew Capel, 15-6 of Elevation Fight Team, coming off of a recent win over former champion King Mo Lawal, will get back to action against John Salter, 17-4, in a clash of rising middleweight contenders. Capel will be fighting at his more natural weight class this time around, after competing at a catch weight of 195 pounds for his last bout against the wall. Capel is also riding a five-fight win streak with four early stoppages coming into the bout. Watch Andrew Capel look to make it six in a row on Dazen Friday night with fights starting at 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Come Saturday, Shanna Dobson, 3-4 of Elevation Fight Team, will look to get back to her winning ways at UFC Fight Night in Las Vegas, where she will take on Maria Agapova in a flyweight bout. This is likely a must-win for Dobson in order to solidify her spot on the UFC roster. Joining his Elevation teammate on the card, Austin Hubbard, 12-4, will square off with Joe Selecki, 9-2, in a battle at lightweight. Hubbard is coming off of a second-round TKO performance his last time out in June. Hubbard is 2-2 overall in the UFC and will be looking to push his record into positive territory with an impressive win on Saturday night. Watch these two Colorado fighters throw down on ESPN Plus with fights starting at 3.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And in new matchup announcements, Yusef the Moroccan Devils Alal, 10 and 2 of Factory X, is back in action again. The Moroccan Devil will fight for his fourth time in the UFC this year on October 10th against Sung Woo Choi, 8 and 3, in a featherweight matchup. No venue or location has been announced yet for the event. And the number two ranked heavyweight in the world, Curtis Razor Blades, 14 and 2 of Elevation Fight Team, will take on the Black Beast, Derek Lewis, 24 and 7, in an upcoming main event fight on November 28th. Curtis Blades' teammate, Alistair Overy, 46 and 18, has also announced his intention to make one final title run, and he will face Augusto Sakai, 15 and 1, in a heavyweight main event at UFC Fight Night on September 5th, with the location yet to be determined. Additionally, Chris Camozzi, 25 and 14, of Factory X, has announced that he has joined the PFL roster for their next season. He's hungry for the championship belt and the $1 million prize. Kamosi will compete at 205 pounds in the PFL light heavyweight division. And that's your Colorado MMA News Weekend Preview. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Prize Fighting Business, give these fighters a follow, and don't forget to like and follow all of our social media pages to get more local MMA content. Also, keep in mind that audio versions of the show as well as fighter interviews can be heard on the Colorado MMA News Podcast channel, available anywhere you listen to podcasts. Check back on Monday for the results from this weekend's fight action. And until then, I'm your host, Corey Mannion.